now that the arc, you know, the elf arc in Black Clover is closing out, we're probably going to have, I'm going to guess, two to three maybe cooldown chapters of just, you know, characters just having, you know, getting to what's the situation is, assessing the current status of the Clover Kingdom, because, you know, we know it's in shambles, we know all the events that happened, the, the amount of, like, mayhem and, and disarray that's been caused throughout it. But one thing I've seen a lot of people discuss, and I've been, I've been, Going on this a little bit, I haven't, I, I, I've kind of touched on it a bit, but I wasn't too much on the topic of William, um, William's eventual fate because I was much more interested in what the elves are going to be doing after this arc, but we know now that, you know, all the elves aside from Raya, Vito, and Fauna are, are, you know, returned to just being souls. They could return at some point, we don't know. But, what we're going to talk about right now is William. So, a lot of people have been going over the fact that William, at least seemingly to some people, a lot of the civilians, like, think that he did something to help save them. I mean, he sort of did, but they don't know that he was the root cause of a lot of it. Well, they may not root cause. He was a big factor in a lot of this. And uh, there's a lot of discussion of, like, people thinking that William is going to get off, like, with absolutely zero repercussions. I doubt that. With... Well, when you look at, like, a lot of the characters, like I talked about with Patri. With Patri, I, w like, I was much more concerned with Patri over William, because I wasn't sure how long Patri was going to be uh, within William's body, as in control. Uh, maybe he'll come back again as, like, you know, the younger self, be like a buddy to Asta. We don't know. But I was much more concerned of, like, well, you look at, like, what he did, and he was tricked, but... He was doing things for the sake of the elves, you know, he was, uh, they were where his loyalty lies, which makes sense, as an elf, those were his people, and he thought he was doing something good. And even though William was doing something for a friend, you gotta keep in mind his position, because he wasn't like, um, he wasn't like some dude and he's part of a crew. I, I'm just gonna pick a, pick a group right now, uh, the Z Fighters, Dragon Ball, I was trying to think of, uh, of, of a group, but not as, like, an official thing, because the Z Fighters are just, um... They're just a they're just a crew, uh, like obviously like if you look at something like uh, uh you probably one of the easiest examples of, of my channel fairy tale like they're a guild, they're they're more like a band I guess that's like a step up from crew but it's not like the Clover Kingdom because the thing is with the Magic Knights when you especially compare them like over to um I guess it's kind of like professional over in like I guess, another comparison My Hero Academia like the, the they're superheroes but they're like superheroes under like like, legally, under contract with the government. But they're much more, again, like, contractors versus, like, the Clover Kingdom. Like, these guys are military. They aren't... They aren't just freelancers. They aren't just characters that go around and, they, you know, they pick odd jobs that are... They are straight-up military. And people... I think that's one of the things, like... It's brought up in Black Clover, but it's not as emphasized. Like, looking at a series like uh, Attack on Titan, you know, the military was a huge aspect of it, and you got a lot of military themes to it. And with Black Clover, again, we've had touch-ups on it, but it hasn't been the emphasis of what goes on. And we got to keep that in mind. Like, William versus Patri. Patri was, like, tricked. You know, he was doing something for his, his tribe, his clan, and... William helped him, and you gotta keep in mind, William is a captain of the Clover Kingdom, not just a captain, he was one of the highest, and he was, you know, uh, a potential uh, wizard king, Be uh, within the next couple of years, they weren't too sure, he was one of the, the front runners, like the, the most likely people, at least when the series started, you had like William, because Golden Dawn was number one, there was always people speculating Yami, I would never put Yami at Wizard King, it just doesn't seem like his thing, and then besides William, you have Nozzle and Fuego Leon, but besides the two, because they're royal blood, we have, they're like, they're like directly royal blood, especially like Lumiere's last name was what, uh, what was it? Silva Million, something like that, and then split into Vermilion, and then Silva. But with William, he was a pretty high up there guy. It's it's like a general, I guess, really pretty much that. It's like a general in like in the army, uh, getting caught selling it. Not even just like selling information, like stir up like if he like brought in like an enemy, like like big guy brought in like ships and weapons, and like just stir up like got because William, William got. Julius killed, and Julius isn't, he isn't like, oh, I'm just, uh, I'm just a guy, he's, he isn't their king by, like, royal blood, he's their king pretty much by, like, position, because he's wizard king, the wizard king is pretty much in charge of, of the military, whereas, uh, Augustus, Kira Clover is more of, like, a figurehead, 
But when you look at it, like, even though uh, something more like Hokage is more like president in Naruto, we got to kind of like compare it a little bit within Black Clover. And again, it'd be like if, you know, someone brought in and, you know, killed the president. And not only that, you have like uh, treason, you have conspiracy to commit these crimes, you have uh, straight up murder and all these things. And I don't think William in any way is going to get off scot-free. There's a possibility that he's not going to, like, I don't think he's going to get executed. I think he's pretty much, the, the way that I talked about it in my, my video, my last review on the, the chapters was, I think he'll become kind of like a, like, heavy, not house arrest, because, like, we don't know if they're going to tell the people that he did this, because, like, the thing is, if the public knows, because the public doesn't know that William did it, it would be in a, a lot of disarray because the fact that it's not like um, it's not like My Hero Academia. They find out about Endeavor's uh, the pat like what he did essentially with his family. They'd be like, "Wow, that's scummy." But that's not like a that's a bad thing. But that's a personal issue versus William, who is a pretty high ranking person in their government within their kingdom, who you know got a lot like pretty much almost destroyed their entire country. And pretty much bought their leadership and just like entire system into shambles. And because of this, and we know that Tabata, Tabata isn't just going to brush this under the rug. He seems like a pretty smart guy. He seems like he knows what he's doing. A lot of people are going to be like, oh, it's shown and they're just going to like be buddies and, and you know, shake hands. Uh, I don't think that's going to happen. Tabata definitely seems like way more on the ball in certain situations like this. I mean, there's, there's times when like characters will forgive uh, others for certain things. Uh, looking over, again, another comparison, Laxus, fairy tale. He didn't get killed or anything from what he did in the fighting festival, but he still got excommunicated, kicked out of the guild. And, you know, eventually he came back and, you know, he's able to redeem himself. But nobody died from what he did. And it was, it was much more, again, they're not a government. They're not a military. This is, again, a much more severe thing with the, uh, with the Clover Kingdom, because this was a huge compromise in their, again, also their security um, they're, they don't know how much, like, what, how far this all runs, because Langris seems to, you had, like, a, a knowledge of what was going on. There are other characters that, you know, had an, somewhat of an idea of what was happening, not, like, full-on, like, oh, elves are gonna take over your body, but they knew that they were undercover and they had some, like, weird situation going on. They were chosen for something. We remember, like, uh, Langris was talking about being chosen for stuff, and, they were knowingly set up to eventually betray their kingdom, which again, high treason, conspiracy to commit these crimes, and any any murder that they knew was going to happen, conspiracy to commit murder, uh, a uh, what is it, the accessory to murder on top of that. So I don't think William will get, I don't think he's going to get executed. The way that I kind of picture it is because, like, I think they're going to, like, the, the whole fact that people... Probably, like, a lot of the public probably saw, like, you know, the, the big tree and thought it was William doing something. They're probably going to keep him kind of like a public figure, but it'd be like, you if you saw a picture of him standing, and it's like him greeting people, but in reality, if you saw kind of like behind the stuff, he's maybe he's like shackled, and, you know, you got guards ready to do anything in case he does anything, you know, he tries to escape or do anything. He probably wouldn't because he feels like shit that he caused all this. You know, got Julius killed. And because of this... I'm I, I'm very intrigued to know how Tabata is going to handle the situation because it wasn't just oh you know we're looking at you know we're speculation of, of what's going to happen. You got to keep in mind we know from two different characters emphasized about the reaction to this. Asta was very very much like Patri, I don't forgive you. I absolutely do not appreciate what you like. I, I don't know. Why I said appreciate what you did. Like it was something. It's like I had, I I will not forgive you for this. Uh, eventually, you're going to have to pay for this. But right now we have something that we need to take care of, you know, the, the, the war devil and what was going on. Also was able to kind of like brush that aside for right now because of what was going on. And I think a lot of the captains are going to, since the, the turmoil is over, now they're going to have a grieving process because they just lost Julius. And Julius wasn't like your boss because we know that a lot of the captains, you know, grew up, you know, very young in their teens through the, um, through the, the magic knights eventually becoming captain. Julius was a... You know, a captain, when especially Yami, when he brought Yami in, you know, Yami was, uh, you know, became a captain after uh, Julius became Wizard King. Julius became Wizard King shortly after, at some point, after uh, bringing Yami in. And they look to Yami, like, they're they're not just like, oh, that's my boss. They're like, we've known him for years. Like, he, they're very clearly close. They have a good relationship. They're able to kind of keep it, like, one of the things I liked is that 
they're able to kind of keep it professional, but also like you can tell like a lot of the characters have a, a much more deep like personal respect and uh, like view on like Julius because Julius was kind of like uh, where Lumiere was. Like we don't know a lot about the other Wizard Kings, but we know like Lumiere and the way that he was like he was just an honest to goodness like. I think like one of uh, one of the best quotes I think is like uh, at least off the top of my head the Warcraft movie. There's like a, a a note of like the greatest thing you can have in a king is the their willingness to die for their country, which is again really good. That's something that we got with uh, with Lumir, we got it with Julius, and we're gonna get that with Asta because Asta seems to have a very similar mindset of uh, of the the duty of Wizard King of Lumir and Julius, and from all this. You got to keep in mind that they're not going to just, like, like, Asta and Yami especially, like, the way that they reacted to this is not just going to be, oh, yeah, like, well, don't worry about it, William, like, they were, they were tricking you. It's like, no, you willingly kept this a secret for years. You fully were prepared, like, to be okay with, like, if, if uh, Patriot wins in the end, that Julius dies. Like, he knew what was possible, the risk of what he was getting into. Like, he could have done something, he could have informed somebody, they could have figured out a way to stop them, you know, he obviously had insider knowledge on the eye of the Midnight Sun, uh, but he let it all happen, and I don't see, especially Yami, because with, with Asta, Asta obviously looks at uh, Julius, he'd probably look at any of the Wizard Kings with, like, you know, the, the Revered, it's like a, you know, your, your heroic figure, but with Yami, Yami's wasn't really like, oh yeah, they're heroic guy, it was... A very close person, almost like a father figure or like an older brother figure. We know we've seen Yami's reaction, and I, I, I like if, if there's for some reason like oh we're just gonna pardon him for reason. I feel like Yami would just go judge Dread and be like, all right, I'm taking the law into my own fucking hands because that just seems like his guy. Because he's like perfectly fine with killing and like he's he's already kind of like not like shady, but he's it, it seems like it'd be one of those things he'd do to be like. I have to kill him. I can't let him go off, off like this. Like, if he get, if William gets, like, you know, in prison, like I said, if he becomes, like, a, uh, like a public figure for just, like, kind of keeping order in check, that'd be different. I have the theory that, like, essentially he'll be in the same boat with the three elves, that they will be, like, uh, again, like, kind of, like, kept under lock and key, but if they need them for something, like, if there's another emergency, they would kind of, like, employ them. Almost like su a suicide squad. You know, I, I know people probably know that reference to know what I mean by that. But... It's just a very interesting layout of what's going to happen. And I, I just... Tabata seems like he, again, uh, like he's he's got this all planned out. He's prepared. He knows what's going on. Unless immediately another big thing happens, like the Diamond Kingdom or the Spade Kingdom, the Heart Kingdom or whatever, like attacks. I don't see the reason why characters would just be like, let's postpone ever doing anything with William. They're going to... I think feel like they're just going to get to everything because... They, they, they clearly, like, once Goldry, like, they, they had suspicions that Goldry, or that they had a traitor, they, they investigated, they found Goldry, not, like, the, what, the extent they were looking for, but, you know, they, they found out, like, his, his crimes, and they're like, okay, we gotta deal with this, and that's gonna happen with William, I just, I don't see a, a potential of them just not going towards it at all, not, like, trying to seek punishment for him, and it's not only that, because William himself is, like, what have I done? Like, I've, I've, I've fucked up so much. Like, I need to, I, I need to take responsibility for all this. But I just wanted to discuss this a little bit because I thought it was a, an interesting thing up and coming. But the idea that people weren't going to, like, there were people that thought Tabata was not going to, like, bring any form of, like, judgment down upon William from the other characters. I don't think that at all. Like, it's, it, it's going to be a hammer on this dude. It's, it's going to be some form of, of, like, heavy... Like, I don't think we're going to have, like, a, a mini court arc. I think it's going to be like, oh, yeah, you know, it's been a week and, uh, you know, this is happening. William and, and the elves are, like, uh, locked up in a dungeon. You know, they're they're being monitored and all these things. Um, so tell me in the comment section below what you think about this. Like, again, it's it's an interesting thing to talk about, like, just the amount of, of big crimes he's committed, This like, the... The what's to come from this character because like he's been a very back and forth of like his presence in the series because it was like this mysterious like masked dude and then it was believed he was uh actually licked and then it wasn't and then it was uh revealed that you know he had him in his body but it wasn't licked and like he did all these things and now uh he's gonna have to he's gonna have to deal with the consequences so then comment below what you think about all this i'd really appreciate the thumbs up the video if you made it this far i'd really appreciate it 
Um, but for the like button and the subscribe button and check out my other videos. By that, I appreciate everyone who's already subscribed and I thank you all for listening.